welcome class 10 today's revision topic is peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system includes the nerves which carry impulses to and from the central nervous system that is from brain and spinal cord the peripheral nervous system again is divided into two subcategories known as somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system so the total nerves which are found in our body comes under the peripheral nervous system first of all we will read about somatic nervous system the somatic nervous system consists of two sets of nerves one is the cranial nerves and the other is spinal nerves cranial as the word cranial suggests it is coming from cranium or brain box so cranial nerves emerge from the brain cranial nerves are the nerves which emerge from the brain they are 12 pairs of cranial nerves and some of which are olfactory optic auditory vagus etc etc so cranial nerves are 12 pairs of nerves which arises from the brain and they may be sensory like olfactory optic auditory olfactory sensory nerves are attached with the nose optic are the sensory cranial nerves which are attached with the eyes auditory sensory nerves are attached with the ears in this way the brain controls the nose eyes ears through their cranial nerves which are sensory in function again cranial nerves could be motor like the ones going to the eye muscles and some of the cranial nerves behave like mixed nerves sometimes they work as sensory and sometimes as motor so they are mixed nerves like those going to and coming from the face and tongue so in this way cranial nerves could be sensory motor or mixed according to the function they perform they are 24 in numbers that is 12 pairs spinal nerves spinal nerves emerge from the spinal cord that's why the word spinal is attached with them spinal nerves emerge from the spinal cord and they are 31 pairs 31 pairs of spinal nerves are present in our body 8 pairs in the neck region 12 pairs in the thorax region 5 pairs in the lumbar region 5 pairs again in the sacral region and 1 pair in the coccygeal region so in this way the 31 pairs of spinal nerves are distributed in our body a typical spinal nerve originates from the spinal cord by means of two roots a dorsal root and a ventral root as you can see in the figure this is the dorsal root and this is the ventral root so <clears throat> every spinal cord spinal nerve every spinal nerve originates from two roots one dorsal and the other ventral root each dorsal root has an ovoid dorsal ganglion each dorsal root has an ovoid dorsal ganglion ganglion is a bunch of mm, tissues every spinal nerve is a mixed nerve having both sensory and motor fibers at the junction of the two roots 
the sensory and the motor fibers separate out the sensory fibers continue in the dorsal root and the motor fibers in the ventral root so in this way the motor fibers into the ventral root and the sensory fibers in the dorsal root they continue both the roots enter the gray matter both the roots enter the gray matter this is the gray matter of the spinal cord and end in the corresponding dorsal and ventral projecting horns of the gray matter so in this way the spinal nerves are in our body the second subdivision of the peripheral nervous system is autonomic nervous system the autonomic nervous system consists of a pair of chains of nerves and ganglia on either side of the backbone this system controls the involuntary actions of the internal organs they again are subdivided into two nervous systems one is sympathetic system and the second one is parasympathetic system the nerves of the sympathetic system arise from the spinal cord between the neck and the waist region the parasympathetic system is located at two places one anteriorly in the head and neck and the other posteriorly in the sacral region these two parts are in general opposite to each other in action the sympathetic nervous system is stimulated by the hormone adrenaline secreted by the adrenal gland which are located on the two kidneys the sympathetic nervous system prepares the body for violent actions against abnormal conditions whereas the parasympathetic nervous system is more concerned with reestablishing normal conditions after the violent act is over so in this way parasympathetic nervous system is actually uh taking in action when any violent action is to be done against any abnormal condition but the parasympathetic nervous system actually is the system which restores the normal conditions of the body once the action of the sympathetic nervous system is over so this is all about peripheral nervous system Thank you